We have big news to talk about as Treyarch has publicly confirmed that they are no longer developing Modern Warfare Zombies. We're going to dive into everything on this topic and what it means as during a creator call this week for Season 3, Treyarch's Kevin Drew, Associate Director of Design in Charge of Zombies, announced that Treyarch are no longer working on Modern Warfare Zombies and instead Sledgehammer Games will pick up the pieces, finish a storyline and develop the content for the remaining seasons. He mentioned that Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games have been working closely since the beginning on the mode and Sledgehammer Games will finish the season out strong. But Treyarch's departure from the Modern Warfare Zombies mode was due to the team having to shift their focus to something on the horizon that is exciting but they can't talk about just yet, which quite clearly is obviously their next Black Ops game that is rumoured to release at the end of the year, also heavily rumoured to be the return of round-based Treyarch Call of Duty Zombies. Now I think this news is a long time coming, as due to the lack of live service content we've seen since Season 1, it felt fairly obvious that Treyarch had already moved on. We also saw developers from Infinity Ward posting that they developed content for Season 2, and it was only a matter of time before this rumour had to be addressed by Treyarch directly. So whilst this news is definitely expected, of course it is a shame to see, as the Modern Warfare Zombies mode definitely has a lot of potential, but with the really minor new content additions every mid-season rather than at the start and in the middle, and with it only being a new dark key for area, some new schematics and a rift easter egg, might follow that same format all the way up to the end of Modern Warfare 3 seasonal content. Now, if you recall back to February for Season 2's launch, from that creator call, we learned that Treyarch had no new enemies or perks planned for Modern Warfare Zombies, which was already quite a big sign that they had wrapped development on the major content for the mode. Now, a really important thing to consider budget-wise with every seasonal update for Modern Warfare Zombies is that we get a very high-quality, professional CGI cutscene. I'm no games developer, but I know that these are extremely expensive and very time consuming to create. And so in the shoes of Treyarch that are releasing the Modern Warfare Zombies mode and telling this story over the course of 10 to 12 months, I think that most of these cinematics were completely finished before Modern Warfare 3 released. And this is a point that fellow COD YouTuber Geeky Pastimes brought up on Twitter, where he thinks that every single cutscene between now and the end of Season 5 was completed before the game's release and they're cobbling together what they can to package gameplay experiences that are tied around those cinematics. And that's why rather than seeing completely brand new environments, Almazra is being reused but with a dark ether vibe. If Treyarch had been planning and developing COD 2024 this entire time, they probably wanted to get this all done and dusted as soon as possible so that they can continue their focus and work on making COD 2024. And I've actually found some evidence that backs up the timeline, proving this point and actually pointing out that a fair amount of the Treyarch team might have actually finished development on Modern Warfare Zombies a long long time ago. I'm not necessarily saying the entire Treyarch Zombies team, but at least some of them. Now this is all public information that is out there that anyone can find out, but I was a little curious about what job roles Kevin has had at Treyarch up till now. I promise I'm not stalking you here, Kevin. <laughs> I promise. But on his LinkedIn profile, he has a section called Projects, where there's an unannounced project which he's been working on at Treyarch since January 2022 till now, which is 100% COD 2024. Right underneath, he shows that he worked on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 between Jan 2022 and Jan 2023, showing that at least one of the main teams at Treyarch for Zombies completed the development on the Modern Warfare Zombies mode all the way back at the end of last year to refocus on development for COD 2024. Now, this might seem both extremely surprising, but also completely not on the other end. Let me explain. To us, hearing that some part of the Treyarch team were finished with this mode 15 months ago, is obviously hard to compute. But when they have their own game that they're developing, as well as these games being developed for several years, this is not surprising to see. Especially considering when in the development period the Zombies mode is usually worked on for an upcoming Treyarch Cod Zombies game. It's usually the final thing that's worked on, but it's in development for 12 to 24 months. Now, Kevin's LinkedIn definitely doesn't confirm that every Treyarch member on the Zombies team finished MWZ back in 2023, but it's fair to assume a a decent chunk of that team moved back to work on COD 2024. And so with that rough time frame for Treyarch to continue their focus solely on this current game coming, that's where the other studios come in to fill in for the rest of the seasonal content. If this timeline all plays out, then this might make sense why Treyarch has no further plans for new enemies or perks or anything more major beyond what we're seeing due to the likely fact that they developed the whole mode with Sledgehammer Games and then the season one content 
content and then that's when they shifted their focus to full head down development on this year's Call of Duty game. Now there's definitely two different ways to look at this both as a positive and a negative. The positive is that Treyarch are likely head down focused on round based zombies and that is the classic formula of zombies that everyone is dying to see return. So if I was given the option of them focusing more on round based in the future or have a substantial more amount of Modern Warfare zombies content but then the round based zombies suffers I definitely would rather have more round based focus. But that isn't to take away from the fact that the Modern Warfare zombies mode at a fundamental level is genuinely a really great alternative zombies mode from round base that I want to see fleshed out further. Everything on the launch of the game as well as season one I think in my opinion was really strong really fun and a fantastic experience and all that I wanted and really expected from the further seasons was just more of that and that is why I think this news is going to be disappointing to fans of the current mode that really like it because it at least feels like that was the peak of the content to expect in this mode and we're never going to reach that height again. Things like the red worm boss fight which you could do with dozens of players in the lobby all at once was such a cool experience for zombies. The act missions were great fun as well and overall it was great groundwork for an expanded open world version of Outbreak. I have hopes that we see a similar mode like this return for this year's Call of Duty game aside from there being round based but again if given the option I would rather a focus on round based but I think this really did have legs so it is a real shame to see Treyarch take a step back but with Sledgehammer Games now being the main developers on the mode I'm hoping that there is a chance that they can listen to the feedback of the community and actually add substantial gameplay features and other things that they have the time to do that Treyarch don't. Sledgehammer have been historic in the past for doing entire overhauls of entire COD games halfway through the year and who knows now with Sledgehammer being the full main developers for the rest of Zombies there is a chance a lot of potential quality of life features and changes that Treyarch might not have made that Sledgehammer games now will. The doubling of the stash as well as the schematic cooldown is a massive change that is very welcome even if it is a little bit later than what we would have liked and if Sledgehammer have that attitude now then I'm really hopeful that it will continue all the way through the rest of the seasons and we'll see even more things adjusted that Treyarch might not have done otherwise. Furthermore if you watch my video on what I learned about zombies from the season 3 creator call within this new Dark Aether Rift there are going to be some small easter eggs that are going to give us some sort of additional benefits and these were a zombie head a zombie arm and a zombie foot and that is something that we have not seen yet before in a Dark Aether Rift where there's some sort of additional unique gameplay element that is tied to just that rift and that's pretty cool. So at least from the initial impressions on what Sledgehammer Games are doing for zombies with season 3 it sounds like they're at least going to have a little bit of fun with it and change a few things up than what we've had so far. But does that suddenly mean that Sledgehammer are going to be adding multiple new mega boss fights, massive main easter egg quests and new maps to the game? Probably not. But it is such a shame to see this mode that had so much potential on its launch just suddenly fall flat on its face. And this is what happened as well with DMZ although for the full year of its support it had an incredible amount of content and support but after that year it just got dropped like a hat. And I hope and I feel that this is all going to be learning experience for Treyarch so that the next open world zombies that we get which could be in Gulf War could be even better than what we've experienced with Modern Warfare zombies so far. 